my name is Dr Rita Scully and I'm a lecturer at Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. This video is on exponential function. I will introduce and explain what exponential function is and I will demonstrate two examples of exponential function in bacterial growth and financial investment. What you know. To help you understand exponential function, it would be useful to review video 1 on exponential growth. It would also assist to review information on linear growth, something that grows by the same amount in each step. Growth to the power, in this case to the power of 3, and exponential growth from video 1. You should also review formula. This is a concise way of expressing information symbolically. And e equations. An equation is a statement that says the equality of two expressions. Exponential function is growth that takes place on a continuous basis. It is a specific form of exponential growth. Here we can see linear growth as the blue line and the, the growth under exponential function, the red line. Exponential function is usually described as a special function. You're probably familiar with the infinite number pi, 3.14159265 and on. With exponential function, we are dealing with another infinite number, e. e equals 2.718281828. 45, 90, 45, and on. Exponential function represents continuous 100% growth. Continuous is the key phrase. If you graph E, it has the property that its slope is its value. So for 100% growth, it can be written as y equals e to the power of x. But x is really the rate by time. y equals e to the power of rate by time. As the rate is usually 100%, we do not see it. But it is important to bear that in mind in some of the following examples. Here we can see the graph of exponential function versus linear growth. Where do you think you might see examples of exponential function occurring? 100% continuous growth. Where might that occur? bacterial growth. Bacterial growth. The exponential phase of growth in bacteria is a pattern of balanced growth where all the cells are dividing regularly and are growing a geometric progression. The cells divide at a constant rate depending on the composition of the growth medium and the conditions for incubation. The rate of exponential growth of bacteria culture is expressed as generation time. Here we will be using the exponential 
function. Generation time G is defined as the time per generation or N equals the number of generations. This is an example where the formula of exponential function is used. Y equals E to the power of R by T. Y equals the exponential function to the power of R rate by T time. If we start with one cell, when it divides, there are two cells in the first generation, four in the second generation, and eight in the third generation, and so on. This generation time is the time interval required for cells or population to divide. Can you think of another example where exponential function can be used? Let's look at an example of compound interest for financial growth. If I decide to deposit 1,000 euros for five years at a yearly rate of 3%, how much will I have at the end of five years? My formula is y equals e to the power of r by t. e is 2.718281828 and on. r is the rate 3% or 0 0.03. And t is the time, in this case, five years. So y equals 1000 by 2.718281828 to the power of 0 0.03 by 5. y equals 1000 by 2.718281828 to the power of 0 0.15. y equals 1,161 euro 83 cent. What you have learned. Exponential function is growth that increases on a continuous basis. It is a specific form of exponential growth. It's used to explain something that always grows in relation to its current value. The exponential function is y equals e to the power of r by t. e equals 2.7 1828 or equals the rate t equals time exponential function can be used in biology chemistry and mathematics <laughs>